it's good to be back on the beach again and I'm staying local as we're supposed to do I'm at Shingle Street in Suffolk it's the 3rd of March 2021 you can see it's a misty morning it's about half 11 we're about two and a half hours away from high water one other angle on the beach up there in the distance setting up you can see shelter going up flat calm day quite a lot of mist and uh, I'm going to be trying for some early spring thornbacks so I've just got my base camp set up get my reels out and my rigs on and uh, using a bit of dirty squid and bluey let's see if we can pull out a thornback or two um, they're more likely to show over high and into the ebb but uh, yeah it's just nice to get out fresh air chill and relax so hopefully I'll be able to put a video together with a few fish I'm going to be trying out my new uh, reels as well today. And I'm back on the old trusty Century uh, Super Matches for a change. And uh, see what we can get. Right, I've got to get set up and uh, catch you all in a little while. Okay, we'll run through a bait up. I've done it a few times before, but I thought I'd do it again. And uh, it just makes a change to be videoing in daylight, so you might be able to see a bit more than you usually see. Um, usual running rig that I use is my pulley running ledger. This is the top of the rig body with an inverted bait clip. There's the lead running. It's about two and a half feet there down to a swivel, then my snood with a clip on, I can clip on the new snood very quickly onto the rig body. This is about four feet long. Uh, Chinoo hook and I've got a semi-circle three knot for Revis there. And uh, we'll get this baited up with a hole or half a squid and uh, see what we can do. Just going to use my homemade baiting device always seems to work quite well. Hook goes in the end. Let's get that top hook out of the way. Here's my piece of squid. Bait elastic. And we get that whipped on. Plenty of hook points showing, you notice. Tie that off. Right, there's the uh, squid all mounted up ready. Bring the top hook down. Go. Right, there we go. That's the rig all clipped down. Five ounces will be more than enough here today, I'm sure. And uh, we'll get that one out there and get the session underway. Well, both ones are out fishing. Yeah, no action so far. I'm expecting it to be quite a slow day, to be honest. Uh, big old grey seal about so there might be some fish out there no doubt that he's interested in thornback rays so not too worried about him 
one rod with the whole squid and the other it's got a bluey and squid combo so we'll uh, keep bashing away for the next few hours and see what it turns up the first bait that went out and uh, I'm not sure that much has been at that so at least we're not being stripped by crabs but we'll get a fresh one out there and uh, carry on Well, as you've already saw when I lifted into that retrieve, there's quite a bit of weight there. I thought it was weed first of all. Yeah, there is weed there, as you can see. But the bite was true. There's a cracking little thornback. First one of the year. Absolutely delighted with that. Cracking little fish. Um, we must be about half an hour, 20 minutes into the ebb now. So I think we will carry on and see if we can catch some more. We'll get this one back as quickly as we can but uh, yeah good result well success at last uh, that fish came about 15 20 minutes into the ebb uh, only probably a couple of pounds but uh, a great way to kick off the fishing year and uh, Let's come back, see if we can pick up a few more. I guess that fish was caught at about oh, 60, 70 yards, that's all. And the secret here sometimes is to find the clay beds out there. And I can tell I found them because it gathers around the lead and the uh, lead link. So um, that's what I'm doing, just a gentle lob, 60, 70 yards if that. Let's see if we can pick up a few more. Just to show you the end of the rig body there, look all coated in clay and all around the bait clip too so you find the clay and you should find the rays Here we go. Second one of the afternoon. 
snapping fish. And I've got that off the surface as soon as I lift it into it, so really pleased with that. Well, we'll get it back. Well, it's two hours after high water now, and we've had the two rays, which is a good result. Um, I was half expecting to blank this afternoon, but uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. That last retrieve, you probably saw me lift into a bit of weight there. I thought maybe I had a bigger ray stuck on the bottom, but looks like I got washed into a snag on the ebb there. Um, so I had to pull for a break at the leader knot. So one set of gear lost. But uh, yeah, it's two hours into the ebb now, so I'm going to pack up and head home. So the old fog is closing in. You've got two rays, is a good result. The first two thorn bass of the year. So I'll say goodbye from Shingle Street and see you all at the next one.